Hello, welcome to Radio 1, Emma Watson. Thank you. Harry Potter Day. I know, I'm so excited that you're doing Harry Potter Day. That's so cool. It's very cool. Is this the first time you've done this? Yes. Ah, oh, great. Very exciting. Edith's uh, coming live from the set later on today. Oh, fantastic. Oh, she's done hanging out at Hogwarts. Um, how are you this morning? You good? Yeah, good, thank you. Very okay. good. Uh, now, you've grown up in front of our very eyes over the past almost 10 years. I feel yeah. quite big sisterly towards you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I look after you. Um, if, if there was like a flashback to all the Harry Potter movies, if there was like a highlights package, mm. what things would leap out to you the most, like the most resounding memories? The, on the first film, I remember my first day on set was that we shot the scene with the Hogwarts train and... I was just, I remember being so in awe and being very nervous, actually. Um, but that was amazing. Uh, I remember doing third film, doing my stunts on the Whomping Willow, being put 40 foot up in the air, strapped onto this branch that was swinging around. That was pretty crazy. Uh, gosh, the ball scene in the fourth one, all the pretty dresses and the Great Hall looking so amazing and everyone dancing and it being so much fun. Um, God, uh, sixth one, um, we did, what else? Gosh, we, Michelle Obama came to set recently. That was amazing with her children, which just goes to, you know, Harry Potter is just so universally adored, and I think, you know, if there was any day that sort of made me realise that, it was Michelle Obama coming with her kids because she wanted to come to set. And she was like, this is even more exciting than meeting the Queen. I was like, that's insane. So, um, That's amazing. Yeah. So did you show her little girls around? Were they yeah, really yeah, they were. They were obviously huge fans and, you know, they were really inquisitive and had loads of questions and, you know, it was, it was like, I don't know, when you, when you work somewhere every day, you take things for granted and you don't, realize how special everything is and every now and again you get a kid who comes to set and you see their face when they see the great hall or whatever it is and you realize how special what you're doing is so it was great to have them there if we could zoom forward sort of imagine in like 15 or 20 years if they just made this mad harry potter yeah <laughs> <laughs> um what would hermione be doing would she be like headmistress of hogwarts or would she be you know, uh, some sort of major, like, wizard of the world, oh, or would she have gosh. just gone into accounting? <laughs> she made to leave oh, it all no. behind. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, I imagine her happily married to Ron, obviously, with her two children, Rosie and Hugo. I think the names were really good choices. <laughs> so she'd be a really good mum, first and, first and foremost. And secondly, um, oh, my goodness. I don't know, I can kind of see that she... She's very, like, she has, like, a very caring nature and she's very clever. So maybe she would go into, like, are you being a doctor? Like, her parents are dentists. Maybe she would have gone that route. Like, kind of, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Or maybe she's too smart for that. Maybe she'd be, so, be some kind of politician or activist. Oh, she'd be protecting house elves, obviously. Yeah, something to do with that. Okay. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I love the way you really think about these things. It's brilliant. You're not like, oh, she'd be doing this. Or you're like, right. <laughs> Um, so we mentioned Ron there. The, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of laughter in this in the, in the Half Blood Prince. And yes. Think about the awkwardness of love and the whole Ron story and the object of mine is affections is, is Ron. Yes. Now, obviously, you and Rupert are great mates. Now, was it? How was it filming the sort of more romantic scenes? Or? Um, it's awkward because for both of us because we are like siblings like if you imagine you grow up with someone since they're nine and you spend every day with someone and it's kind of strange but i think rupert and i both really like enjoy doing comedy and getting the chance to do it because so much of the films are really dark and really serious and when rupert and i get the chance to do something funny we really get into it so i think we enjoyed it as well and the kiss, the kiss has happened, though we've not seen it yet. That's in the next Yes, film. that's in, that, that's the finale. That's that's the finale. I, can't, I don't want to give too much away about the the finale. It would, you, I don't want to ruin it. How did, how did you prepare mentally for it? Did you just joke about it? Oh, Was it just God. really awkward? The best thing, like, we, we broke the ice by both of us just confessing how nervous we both were about doing it. And because we were both in exactly the same boat and felt exactly the same way about doing it it was such a relief to know that 
yeah, that we were both going through the same thing, type of thing. And um, so we just sort of talked through it, and we were both really worried about not about laughing and not being able to to take it seriously more than anything else. So, yeah. No, when they go, um, <laughs> when do they do this on films? They go, and that's a wrap at the very. They end. do. Okay. There's lots of like film talk, film jargon. Oh, yes, <laughs> lots. I'm, I've just about got on top of it after six years. Okay, so when they do say it's a wrap at the end of the final Harry Potter and it's the end of it and it's all over. How I are should you know. Feel? Rap actually stands for like wind. Wine. Real and real and partying and party. Yeah, I'm not sure what it stands for, but yeah. But it would be a big <laughs> moment. It would be a, a big, a, a big, a big moment for you. Right? Yeah, it really will. It'll be very, very strange. Um, but you know, I don't think Harry Potter's ever really going to be over because it's just such a. I think the books people keep reading them. There'll be new generations of kids who'll keep watching them and. The theme park's coming out. We've still got two more to release. It doesn't. It doesn't feel over yet. Okay. And we're. Losing... I'm not saying my goodbyes yet. Okay. <laughs> and we're losing you to New York, an amazing city. You're going to go and study there, is that right? I'm. I'm studying in America. Um. I. I'm not. Saying, I'm not saying where I'm studying. Much to the anguish of the press, who would. Mm. Uh, I think I'm attending about four or five different universities at the moment. There's a bit of like a different guest. Make every... something up, yeah. She's going yeah. to Kansas College. No, seriously. Yeah. They, honestly, I'll be going to Texas next. No, I've, it's um, it's quite funny, really. But um, well, good we'll luck. Incredible. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, I'm so excited to go into the states. I'm very excited. It'll be a big change, but I'm ready for something new. I love to play games on this show. Me too. Um, and it's called Potter or Notter. Ooh, okay, good so, title. Yeah, that rhymes and everything. I'm really <laughs> pleased. Uh, so the following characters, are they Potter? Are they from an actual Harry Potter film? Or are they Notter? And we've just made them up. Okay. Okay. Nobby Leach. Ooh, I uh, don't think so, no. So he's a... Notter. Notter. He's a Potter, the Minister for Magic. What? He's the Minister for Magic. Is Nobby he? Leach. Yeah. Nobby Leach? Mm. Sorry, Nobby. The Minister for Magic? Yeah. Scratch Longbottom. Neville Longbottom. Mm, is there a scratch? Has he got a sister called Scratch? Longbottom. Not a. Not a. Not a. Not a. I'm going to go with not a. Warty Harris? Warty Harris? Yeah. Uh, maybe he could be a pupil. A potter, yeah. Yeah, he's a potter. He's a potter. Original own owner of the toad stolen by Mundungus Fletcher. Mm. Tickly gonad. Sounds good. A potter. It's a notter. What? I know. <laughs> but it should be a character. Definitely. Uh, we'll end it there. Emma Watson, it's been an absolute joy speaking to you. Thanks you very too. much. You too. Thanks. <laughs>